Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. We got championship hardware on the line this weekend. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville, and we've got your top three NFL player prop bets for AFC Championship Weekend. We've got the Kansas City Chiefs going toe-to-toe with the Baltimore Ravens. Good game in this one, Tyler. How you feeling? I am feeling great. I'm excited for these two games. Yeah, we've got great games on the line in this one. And after that Chiefs-Bills game, man, that was awesome. We had Taylor Swift with us there. We had Jason Kelsey stealing the show by taking his shirt off and just jumping out of the box that he was in. It was absolute mayhem. But more importantly, Tyler, we went three for three on our picks. So guess what? Today is a money gun day. Do you have your money gun locked and loaded? I sure do. I I do have to say, though, you had me until you you brought up Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Well, the good news, too, is that the Bills won, so therefore I don't have to jump through a table, as I promised. The Chiefs did, in fact, win, but we also have a winner to announce. First, Tyler, let off the money guns, shall we? There we go. Now we're rolling. Oh, oh yeah. I got a little clogged there. <laughs> we had a, a, a malfunction over there, prop malfunction. It's going you know, way slower than normal. <laughs> Well, you know what's not going slow is our prop picks, making money on this show. Hopefully you guys are cashing in on our picks as well. And because we went three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. So we will announce the winner right now. I'm just doing the wheel of names here. The winner is getting my game show host on here. Oh, TV and 124, which is otherwise known as Congratulations, buddy. You are our winner. Thanks. If you want to be a winner nope. too, all you need to do is make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. Just one comment, and it'll enter you into our prop bets contest. If we go three for three, three for three, I put up four figures there. I can count clearly. Anyways, it was that. You know what that reminds me of? I put up four figures for that. Uh, do you do you remember that Tom Brady meme where he was like, "What down yes. is it?" Anyways, uh, nonetheless, you are now sure you to- are now a meme. <laughs> Congrats. Make sure to comment below, and uh, hopefully we'll go three for three on our picks in this Chiefs-Ravens game, and we can give out some more money, set off the money guns, and get into it. We've got a really great game here, and in just looking at this game, it was a little t- it's getting a little tougher to be handicapping these games. And as Tyler and I have talked before, whenever you're approaching the playoffs, there's like so much temptation because so many more of your friends are coming out of the woodworks placing bets the temptation is an increase in volume. However, I personally am not going to be betting more, maybe even scaling back I might be doing this weekend because the lines get so much sharper. What is what is your overall take on, on playoff betting for NFL? Uh, I'm on board with you. I'm in the same spot. I roll, black, roll back volume a little bit. I just, I mean, I can't simply place as many bets just due to, you know, how many less games, but... Also, the Lions just seem to be a little bit sharper, so mm-hmm. I scale back to that as well. But we're still placing a little bit of bets, so you guys got to tail us on Underdog Fantasy Prize Fix, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. If you don't have those apps already, download them. Use the promo code LINESTAR for up to $100 of your deposit match. So let's get right into this game because we've got a really good game, and we were 3-for-3 three three on our picks the last Chiefs game, so hopefully we can... Parlay that over into this one. The first, we're going to start off with Chiefs running back Isaiah Pacheco. Over 14 and a half rush attempts. Line Stars got some edge here, projecting for 17.4 rush attempts. And in fact, Pacheco has been averaging 18 rush attempts per game. Now, the Baltimore Ravens have an amazing, stellar defense. However, they are 11th in rush attempts per game to opposing running backs and 19th in rush yards per game allowed to running back. I do think that there is opportunity here for Isaiah Pacheco a.k.a. the angriest runner in the NFL. What's your take on this one, Tyler? Yeah, and we should bring up, too, that he did set out practice today. However, he has said he is absolutely going to play and that it shouldn't hinder him whatsoever. So 
Just uh, want to put that out there. But all in all, look, this offense is now kind of running through him. And I think they got to run the ball on him. Baltimore's weakest part of their defense is that run D. Now, the run D is still good, but I think they need to attack it. Yeah, I think their secondary is – the Baltimore Ravens secondary is fairly sound, and I think the way the Chiefs start to open things up is get Isaiah Pacheco going, maybe open up some opportunities so that creates create some more opportunities in that secondary. I think like the two things go hand in hand, right? This is no longer that – Um, gunslinging offense that you saw when Tyreek Hill was there. So the Chiefs have kind of evolved and they've really leaned into the ground game in this one. So Pacheco in a decent spot here against this Baltimore Ravens defense, which is good, but the rush attempts prop like in the over here. All right, now it is time, Tyler, for you and I to give our picks. What is your favorite pick this week for the AFC Championship game? I got to go with Rasheed Rice over 58.5 58.5 receiving yards, minus 115 in sports books. Our line star projections, 70.2. The consensus is 76.4. And WR1s have actually fared okay versus Baltimore. And Rice is Mahomes' favorite target. I would even say over Travis Kelsey now. Maybe not quite as uh, reliable as Kelsey, but he is looking at his way often as average 90.3 yards over the last four, four weeks. Ooh, all right. I like Rushy Rice for you there. For my prop bet, Tyler, I have got to go to the man who's going to be likely the MVP this season, Lamar Jackson, over on his rushing yards line, which right now, 63 and a half rushing yards. I like it all the way up past 65 even, which is what Line Star is projecting. Jackson's gone over in three of the last five games. In fact, 100 rush yards last week against the Texans. And he's going up against, yes, a very good Chiefs defense. However, where their Achilles heel is, is in that run defense. It's been an Achilles heel all season long, particularly off on runs off tackle or outside the tackles. When I dove into the research, Kansas City ranks 32nd dead last in EPA per rush allowed on those type of runs off the tackle. Meanwhile, the Ravens led the NFL in those types of rush attempts, and they struggle specifically, too, against running quarterbacks, ranking 26th in EPA per rush allowed to quarterbacks. That EPA stands for uh, expected points added. They are also 28th in success rate allowed on zone read and design quarterback runs, and There is no one better than Lamar Jackson at that 5.9 yards per carry on runs off tackle or outside tackle that ranked fourth in the NFL among 70 players with at least 25 such attempts. And Jackson also led the league in scrambles and forced the most missed tackles on scrambles. I think the Chiefs defense is going to have an absolute nightmare trying to defend against Lamar Jackson in this one. And I think when you get to the postseason with a lot of these players, You know, they're not protecting them anymore from injury because this is it. So Lamar Jackson is going to put this team on his back, carry them to the Super Bowl in this one. And he does it with his legs. So I like the rushing yards here for Lamar Jackson. Any thoughts on that, Tyler? I I mean, we talked a little bit about it earlier today. And the thing with betting Baltimore is I can't trust any of their receivers. I think I have to go Lamar if I'm betting anything with that. One, passing-wise, it's a little bit lower volume, and they spread the ball around. Rushing-wise, they split it up between Hill, Edwards, you know, even Cook last week. And the only one that does it every single week, week in, week out, is Lamar Jackson. And when the Super Bowl is on the line, they're not going to shy away from using Lamar Jackson. Absolutely not. Todd Munkin is going to scheme up some great design runs for Lamar in this one. I'm just looking forward to seeing what what they cook up for this game and against that Chiefs defense. And I'm liking that you mentioned the the receiving yards props, too, because, you know, I was waiting on maybe some Mark Andrews, this or that. But there is a little bit of uncertainty still with Mark Andrews and his status going to this game. Um, But also... You know, and one of the reasons why they have been so successful is because there's different targets. You know, Zay, we took, I took Zay Flowers over last week, caught kind of burned by that. But you can just see like this offense is just, they're so dynamic in so, so many different ways, which is what makes them so lethal in this game. But Lamar Jackson, I feel like, is, is a good bet whenever you're looking at uh, any type of props for the Ravens. That's like the most reliable one. So we're just going to stick that action Jackson 
going to get the over on rushing yards. You can tail us again, underdog fantasy, prize pick, sleeper, chalkboard. And if you don't have those apps, download them, use the promo code LineStar. Or just let us know what your locks are for this game because we're all trying to help each other out at the end of the day in order to beat the books. So again, a comment enters you into the prop bets contest too. Uh, so it helps everybody out. It helps us out in the algorithm and it helps you out because it enters you into the contest. Now let's get to those anytime touchdown calls. Tyler, where are you headed for an anytime touchdown game in the AFC Championship game in Baltimore, Maryland? You know what? I got to go back to Rasheed Rice plus 140 to get in the end zone. I just think the odds are way too high here. Casey throws the ball a lot in the red zone. Rice has better odds than Kelsey plus 140 to plus 120 and has five more red zone targets over the last week than Kelsey. So I think it's clearly uh, Rasheed Rice that they're going to look at. And at plus 140, I got to get behind that. Yeah, that's some really great value there. Not so great value for my touchdown call, but hey, I got to do it. Lamar Jackson going to put this game on his back in this one. We're going there for a touchdown call. Got to gotta go with the chalk in this one. Plus, like even money for an anytime touchdown in some sports books. Josh Allen had two rushing touchdowns last week against Kansas City. They struggle against opposing quarterbacks. When I told you about Lamar Jackson's uh, rushing yards line that I liked for his prop, I mentioned the Kansas City 26 in EPA per rush allowed to quarterback, 28th in success rate allowed on zone read and design quarterback rushes. There's no one better at that than Lamar Jackson in this one. I think the Chiefs will struggle at any time the Ravens are in the red zone. You know it's going to be Lamar Jackson time. So I got to just roll with an anytime touch. I know it's kind of like it's not too much juice on that one, but hey, you just got to do it. Got to do it. Can't can't not take Lamar Jackson for an anytime touchdown. Couldn't he have just AFC saved one rushing touchdown for this week? Yeah, come on. <laughs> he had to have. I, you, you know he's yeah. got some left in the tank, though. And to, uh, Todd Monken, the offensive coordinator, he's got some stuff up his sleeve to create some, mm-hmm. some plays for Lamar to get him in the end zone. You know I like to shout out my former offensive coordinator, the Georgia Bulldogs. So <laughs> Got to throw yeah, that in do. there as well, uh, uh-huh. for sure. All right, let's take a look at the spread is the Ravens are three and a half point favorites in this one. What's your take on the sides? Oh, man, this is such a tough one. Yeah. Uh, The thing that's funny about this game, too, is there's so many like conspiracy theories around the possible winner. Oh, 100%. So, you know, there's the 49ers Ravens due to the colors of the Super Bowl, you know, logo. Uh, And then there's also that talk about, you know, how the news put Baltimore versus 49ers. And then now there's also the Chiefs uh, and the potential ref that is going to be there. I saw that story. Which is throwing a new one in. So I think this, uh, the take on this game is just funny all in general, but I do think that Baltimore is the better team. And I got to get behind them. Yeah, the uh, I'm trying to see if I can pull up that that thread on. Uh, here it is. Yeah, the ref in their rotation who ha- gives a massive edge to road teams just got, yeah. I guess, called to the to this game particularly. So it raised a lot of eyebrows, and there was a Twitter thread on it um, from Sharp Football. Um, yeah. So just went through all the stats of the different, it was kind of wild. So the conspiracy theories are out there to go look up on your own, but that was totally, it's hilarious. It's pretty crazy. You can go into it. Um, I'll put, I'll put the link in our, in the comments so you guys can check that out for yourselves. But are you, I know that your new year, new year's resolution was, Hey, we're not betting the sides in this one. Are you Mm -hmm. you sticking with that resolution? Oh yeah. I'm not betting a side on this one. I I think this one's, (laughs) uh way too close and not not like a real edge on either side you know if you want to lead into the uh, conspiracy theories i would say go for it but uh yeah i i don't want to bet this game yeah uh three and a half i i kind of like i think the ravens end up winning this game i think the chiefs could it could be a really close, like three, it could be a field goal game in this one for sure. Mm-hmm. So I, I like that three. Yeah, that number is good. So I think the Chiefs cover in this one is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I rolled with the Chiefs last week. So got to at least roll with them to cover. But I think the Ravens end up winning for 
for all you Ravens fans out there. Hope you guys get a Super Bowl appearance, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous after that referee got called in specifically for this game. Watch out for him in this game. Well, Post that. the other thing is that if the NFL wants ratings, they obviously want Taylor Swift there in attendance. So mm. there's that aspect too. <laughs> You know, you, oh we can spin boy. so many conspiracy theories. Oh, <laughs> man. This is amazing. All right. Well, let us know what you think of all of our picks and analysis in the comments. Whether you loved it, whether you hated it, we want to hear from you guys. We're all trying to help each other out to win some money this weekend in championship weekend. So best of luck to you guys. Also, the tool that we're using, we're not gatekeeping it. It is the LineStar app and the Props AI tool specifically is helping us find the best value in the prop market in the graphics that you've seen throughout this show. We use a lot of bar graphs and everything. That's just straight from the Line Star app, the Props AI tool. It'll show you how a player's done the last five, the last 10, and you can go into all the research that you want. And it also just tells you what the projection is and then what the lines are and in the different sports books. So whether you're on underdog fantasy or whether you're placing your bet at DraftKings or FanDuel, like it'll tell you what the lines are and where the best value is. So it's a super helpful tool. I encourage you guys to check it out at linestarapp.com. Good luck, everybody. I'm just glad I'm not jumping through tables this week. That's all I got to say because I, you know, I, 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 I would have done it for sure, Tyler, had the Bills ended up winning. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure you would <laughs> Good luck, everybody. We'll see you guys next time, and make sure to check out our NFC Championship preview as well. We'll see you next time, guys.